Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be um, from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So as we always do, let's pull your overarching energy. This is the Tarot Grand Lux. I'm using Karen Kay's, Karen Kay I think it is, Mermaid and Fairy cards. We have Dorian Virtue's Angel Answer cards and uh, Marquette's Tarot Grand Lux and then we have the Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot. I think that's everything. <laughs> so what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, the overarching energy or message for the week. Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. Message for Cancer, there's the card. Okay, we have the Four of Coins. Message for Cancer, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. What does Cancer need to hear, please? What does Cancer need to hear for the week? Thank you. There's the card. We have Ask for Help. There could be somebody available to you who is of influence this week in terms of helping you reach a turning point. Don't take everything on on your own. Okay, message for Cancer, please. Angels, what is the message for Cancer? And by the way, that could be divine help as well. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Listen to your intuition. Again, it's how angel spirits guides guide us forward through our intuition, our instinct what feels right. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Cancer, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Message for Cancer, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. What does Cancer need to hear the most? Okay, card is on the table, so we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, we have Eight of Wands in the Advice from Spirit and the Empress. Message for Cancer, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer? 8th to the 14th of March 2021, please. Thank you message for cancer thank you message for cancer thank you there's the card cancer we have the devil we have the six of swords with the eight of wands and the empress lovely nine of pentacles very nice energy Bottom of the deck, Cancer, we have the Hermit. Okay. Yeah, Capricorn energy. The Devil is Capricorn. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles, which is also Capricorn. The difficulty in breaking free. To bring stability back into your life. I mean, this is a card of self-protection, self-preservation, stability having gone through some instability. And the message here for some of you, Cancer, is you are going to find that stable footing. You have all the resources that you need to bring stability and security back into your life. 
and take control of a situation that has controlled you for a period of time. Yeah. Ask for help where you need it. Listen to your intuition because your instinct is guiding you, telling you. Now, we did have, uh, it was a reading. Um, was it in love? There was a poignant love reading I remember doing last week. So do have a look at that. It's for March to April uh, love readings. And I think that was for cancer as well. So this could be, some of the energies have appeared here too. The, the message here is cancer. You have an opportunity to really look at something with crystal clear clarity and see through the illusion of what this devil represents and understand how to break free of it. Now that could be in terms of relationships, whatever, could be workplace, could be home, could be, uh, you know, uh, close related personal relationship. Um, the devil generally represents instability. But in the challenge position, the Ace of Swords is your clarity, your clear thinking, your sudden epiphany or logical reasoning, mental clarity that's coming to you, that is enabling you to break free of whatever this devil, rep devil represented, breaking free of a bad, of a bad cycle. Um, could be a person in your life, can be a situation, the devil can represent, like I said, uh, unhealthy relationships, codependency, manipulation, power struggles, um, shadow energy, you know, can, you know, a, a, did I say addiction? Um, but this is where this is a victory energy of conquering that devil. And that has been a challenge to conquer the devil. But with the ace being the main energy here over this, I'm definitely getting for some of you, there is the conquering here. Conquering something that is just not right for you anymore. And spirit is saying that you have an opportunity to heal, to bring change, to put it behind you. Conversations. And again, this could be where help is on hand. There could be some conversations coming in, coming in or support or advice um, that is bringing swift change to your circumstances. You know, this is about movement change. Some of you could be moving, relocating. This can also be life transitions, moving and finding the right direction. I'm definitely getting... For some of you, there, there could be some communication that's bringing change. I mean, it could be to do with opportunity. Uh, the ones can be to do with opportunity, uh, communication, um, people, networking, you know, uh, the shift. Um, but there's definitely two shift cards here. Movement and putting a difficult situation behind you. So there's definitely an energy of what you're taking action towards, this new vision energy with the Six of Swords. You're heading in the right direction. I like the way that both of these cards are going in a specific direction away from this devil. Because for some of you, it feels like cord cutting. It feels like you're seeing through the illusion of a situation and putting troubles behind you. And you're not quite at the end game yet. Spirit is saying you're not quite there yet. But what you are achieving is stability and security and self-preservation, self-protection in your life. Um, yeah, it's definitely beautiful energy there. The Four of Coins can be something that's difficult to let go of as well, you know. Um, <clears throat> So Cancer, the Hermit energy is a card of, it feels for some of you, making some sound judgment calls on trusting the answers that you're finding from within in how you need to take action to bring this swift change to your life now. And it definitely feels, I mean, you know, the Eight of Wands is adventure energy. I'm ready to, to for new adventures, I'm ready for the journey, I'm ready for new connections to come into my life. I mean, there's an element of there could be online connections here, online opportunities, online conversations here too. Um, and the ability of bringing new abundance in your life, the ability to bring stability and security into your life, 
this nine of pentacles is a card of somebody who feels empowered and pretty good you know the empress is the birth of something new so in terms of money and career this is very very good energy the nine of pentacles is material success abundance both of these are abundant energies transforming your fortunes in terms of money career finances so again for some of you there could be some conversations happening this week that is transforming that energy and helping you align to where you need to be the the empress is also she can be to do with um love romance relationships as well um she's somebody who just understands how to be how to be in a in her own space in her own abundance to create her own reality you know she is somebody who just understands how to be how to flourish how to thrive in her own reality and i'm definitely getting that with the nine of pentacles as well self-worth self-esteem not lacking for anything but by your own effort and energy bringing in this new value of security and stability in your life this can also be a card of independence so for some of you i definitely get this energy here of there is a newfound abundance not just in terms of money career finances but of not lacking for anything of taking the right steps that you need to take now to to move forward to a fit to a feeling of 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 recovery of healing um of standing on your own two feet in your own self-worth um this is somebody who is independent who provides financially for themselves but feels empowered and good, you know, it's a card of abundance. It's a card of financial security and success. So if you've had to be careful with money, this is a great energy of greater money. Success is coming your way through some conversations. If you've, um, if this has been to other areas of your life, this is about standing in your own success, self-worth, self-esteem knowing that you can stand on your own two feet and feel pretty good about it having gone through some healing so i love this energy either way cancer sometimes the four of coins can be about being just careful with money you know so i definitely get this energy of money wise it's very good but certainly in terms of self-worth self-esteem this is not feeling the lack this is fulfilling the potential of you and standing independently in your own right feeling good so I love the energy for that reason. So I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah, you see, Herm energy. Shine from within. And it's, it's aligning to where you're guided to from within. It's a lovely energy, the Herm energy. We have looks are on his skin deep true beauty shines from within it's time for you to shine this time this is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty and there's an energy here cancer of cutting cords breaking free of bad cycles that no longer serve you because there is some kind of opportunity to open a new door this week for some of you um, there is some kind of shift coming and it will allow you to put whatever this devil represents to you behind you. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.